And we have some breaking news from the gridiron where Kentucky quarterback Will Levis has officially declared for the NFL draft. Levis is considered a likely first round pick this spring and is among the top quarterbacks in this year's draft class. The 23 year old threw for more than 2,400 yards and 19 touchdowns this season. Levis also says he'll be skipping the Wildcats upcoming Music City Bowl against Iowa. And taking a look at the 2023 NFL quarterback rankings for the draft, you got Will Levis there at number three, overall rank at five. Just behind Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, and just above Florida's Anthony Richardson. And let's welcome in Ryan Wilson to discuss this breaking news. Ryan, I feel like we're always talking about some sort of draft news. Will Levis declaring for the draft. Your initial reactions when you heard this about the Kentucky quarterback. No surprise, and you sort of touched on it, Jacqueline. The season didn't go quite as expected for Will Levis. He had the toe injury. He had the shoulder injury, battled through those things. And that toughness is what stands out to, to NFL evaluators for sure, but it's hard to overlook uh, the lack of production on the field. And, look, no offensive line to speak of in Kentucky. His wide receivers struggled to get open consistently. I understand all that, but at some point you hope that a guy who could be a potential top ten pick would find a way to lift the players around him. It, it didn't happen playing against some of the best players in the country, the SEC, no doubt about it. But there are things to like about Will Levis' game. I was talking to uh, an NFL scout a few weeks ago about Will Levis and Bryce Young, and he basically said this, how many Bryce Youngs are in the NFL at that size? The answer is zero. How many Will Levises are there in the NFL at his size? The answer is a ton. And that's where you start. The physical attributes, the height, weight, the arm strength is second to none. And we'll get to see more glimpses of that as we get through the pre-draft process. He's an incredibly smart young man. He's going to have to explain to evaluators what happened this season and how he can improve on that once he gets to an NFL team, which in all likelihood, Jacqueline, will be a team that's not very good. That's why they're drafting at the top of the board there. One thing quickly, though, we showed the graphic coming in of our aggregate CBS Sports draft guy. QB rankings, I have it Bryce, CJ, Anthony Richardson out of Florida, and then Will Levis. That could change in the coming weeks and months, but I think for me that's where I'm going to be my starting point as we get deeper and deeper into to the draft process. Okay, so you got them flipped there, Anthony Richardson and Will Levis. Ryan, let's talk more about what team would be a good fit for Will Levis. In your latest uh, mock draft, I believe you have him going 14 overall to the Colts. With his size and all those attributes, is it better for him to go in somewhere where he can just play right away, or is it kind of like an Anthony Richardson situation that we were talking about yesterday where he goes, sits for a little bit, observes, and then maybe in a year or two starts? What, why do you think the Colts are a good fit, I guess, first? And then second, what other teams um, could use him with their draft needs? Yeah, Will Levis, unlike Anthony Richardson, is ready to go. Uh, he transferred from Penn State. He's been in college. This, I think he's a fifth-year senior. So he'll be ready-made, step-on-the-field, day-one type of player. And that's part of the reason why he'll probably end up being in the top 15 conversation, maybe even higher. Now, look, you talk to Will Levis. He has actually compared him, his game to Josh Allen's in terms of wanting to replicate that sort of productivity going forward. And that's an easy comp when you look at the size and the arm strength. Uh, and, in fact, the, the last years they had in college at, at uh, Wyoming, and of course for Josh Allen in, in Kentucky for, for uh, Levis. Here's the thing. Doesn't uh, Indianapolis make sense? Yeah, they de desperately need a quarterback. Over the last 20 years, they've been a pretty stable organization. This season seems less so, but that would be a plug-and-play type situation, assuming he's there uh, in the middle of the first round. We can even start at the top with the Texans. They have picks 1 and 13 as we currently sit here. They might be thinking about him perhaps not first overall, but maybe, but certainly at 13. Uh, the Carolina Panthers at 6. They need a quarterback. That could be a consideration. Uh, Washington at 18, currently as we sit here, would also be a consideration in terms of long, long-term long quarterback uh, franchise uh, face of the franchise. So there will be plenty of opportunities. A lot of these quarterbacks that were draft eligible have decided to return to school. So they makes the uh, supply even uh, more, the demand, excuse me, even more so for these NFL teams looking for quarterbacks. So I think Will Levis has an opportunity, whether you agree with it or not, to be a top 15 type talent. And I feel like, Jacqueline, this, along with Anthony Richardson, this is going to be a Mac Jones situation in terms of how divisive folks are uh, in the draft media and, and draft fans in particular, talking about this QB class as we get closer and closer to the end of April. And we know he's dealt with some injuries. I believe it's a foot, finger, shoulder injuries, to name a few. Does that concern you at all, Ryan? No, all those things should, should be pretty 
uh, taken care of by the time we, you know, get get down to the nitty gritty. You mentioned the finger. I didn't mention that earlier, but he heard that in the middle of a game on his non throwing hand. He popped it back into place and went back out there and competed. And I was talking to Rick Spielman about this on the old uh, with the first pick podcast. Check it out wherever you get your podcast. And he actually liked the fact that Levis showed that toughness. And, and Spielman said, I asked him flat out, would you take Anthony Richardson or Will Levis if you had a pick in the middle of the first round? And he said Will Levis for many of the reasons that we're laying out here. So, again, there are going to be differing schools of thought on, on this quarterback class. But Will Levis on paper is an absolute home run. Will Levis in the 2022 season for Kentucky raises some questions, and that's what makes this so intriguing, trying to figure out which quarterback is going to have success in the NFL and which quarterback maybe is worth passing on and circling back on later. But Will Levis, as we sit here, you know, he's a first-round talent. He's just got to answer some questions about what happened uh, during the season this fall. All right, and that is Ryan Wilson joining us here on CBS Sports HQ for that breaking news where Kentucky quarterback Will Levis has declared for the NFL draft. And you heard Ryan plug his podcast. We're going to plug it again. You can hear him and Rick Spielman on their new podcast with the first pick. You can download and listen wherever you get your podcast. You can also scan that QR code. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.